all right uh, what's going on guys uh moxification here so today uh, i'm going to show you guys how to install custom boot animations um i did say i was going to do a video on this so this is the video so uh, what you're going to do is uh we're going to start off by going to uh, infectedxbox.com because infectedxbox.com actually has um uh ah i've forgotten the url what i can type in is uh uh fake and um uh, there you go, fake anim turnip because uh, turnip made a post on infectedxbox.com, um, and this is basically it, it's just helpful, you know. Like you can download anything you need from uh, this link. Uh, it's just infectedxbox.com. I'll, I'll link it in the description because it, that makes it a lot easier. You can download the uh, files. You can download um, the actual custom boot animations like uh, these ones here, um, and. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna get into it. I've already downloaded everything because it would have taken too long to uh, for me to actually download it in the video. Uh, and also, you probably can hear I've got a cold, and um, yeah, so my voice is gonna be a bit dodgy, and I might have to uh, stop talking for a bit to like, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go to my downloads, I'm gonna open up the fake anim and the uh, blue Xbox 360.zip. And um, we're going to exit out of that thing because it's not needed. Uh, I'm going to extract the fake anim to the desktop uh, out of the fake anim thing. The folder I'm going to extract, not any of the other stuff because you don't need it. And I'm going to get the blue Xbox 360.wmv as well out of the other one. Because uh, I did download a blue X3, uh, Xbox 360 from the post. Uh, there was actually a couple of videos. You can download them from the description. Um so uh, yeah that was one of them you could download any other one there's actually some already in the fake anim folder so uh, yeah that's good to know um so i'm gonna open up the folder um i'm gonna find uh make sure we've got everything you know i'm gonna get the blue xbox 360 and put that in the jukebox folder uh, there are already a few others in there there's four and then we added the blue xbox 360 so you don't actually need to download another one but i did just because you know you can get a uh, sort of a mixture uh so yeah what you're gonna do is I'm going to open up Xbox 360, uh, Neighborhood, sorry, yeah, um, and go into JTAG, go into Retail Hard Drive Emulation, I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to find the launch the INI, I'm going to minimize that really quickly, and we're going to get the launch the INI and just put it on the desktop, so we can edit the launch the INI, I'm going to scroll down to where the plugins are, and we're just going to scroll up by a bit, and you're going to find something called Fake Anim, now if you don't see Fake Anim, I'll just give a download link to my launch to INI, so you can do that, and then all you'll have to do is edit your plugins, uh, to whatever you have as your plugins, you know, um, so where is it, Fake Anim, so what you can do is, uh, well, what I'm going to do, and you're going to do as well, is basically just get the HDD thing, copy it, and paste it, um, on the Fake Anim, so like, you've got, um, uh, so you know what it is, so it's like HDD, you could just type it out if you wanted to, but, you know, I'm lazy, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, what you can do is, you know, open up the fake NM folder, which we already have open somewhere, um, we're gonna go back, gonna go to that, uh, the fake NM.xex, we're just gonna copy the name of the fake NM.xex, like that, and paste that over the XBDM or whatever you just did it for. So you could you could have just typed a HDD the colon thing, um, the backslash then fake anim dot xcx. But you know I feel like that was quicker. Uh, and then you know you're getting it right if you're copying and pasting. Uh, so yeah, so save the launch I You don't need to do anything with plugins uh, because you know you've already sort of made it a plugin type thing there. Um, so yeah, save the launch I We're gonna put all of these files and the launch the INI on the root of the hard drive so I'm going to do launch the INI first and then we're going to do all of these files as well there you go root of the hard drive there you go it shouldn't take too long I think there's about 50 MB so it might even be quicker for you guys to use a USB and just do the same thing but not Xbox 360 neighborhood then uh, fake anim uh, basically you can just change stuff the way this is so you can do um, I think the zero is black, so I prefer black. So we're gonna do calibration is zero because I prefer black instead of like it comes up with a red screen and I don't like that. It looks horrible. So we're gonna do zero, which is black. But you can have red if you want. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the fake anim, put that on there again because I just changed from zero, no one to zero, I think. Um, yeah, then all you wanna do is reset your Xbox. So I'm gonna turn it off. 
and I'm also going to open up the whole punch capture because we need to do that. We'll do that in a second. Just turning the Xbox back on. Uh, there you go. So I'm going to open up the whole punch capture now because it does take a bit of time to actually open. And the console is coming on right now. Now what you'll get is when the console first turns on, the normal dashboard uh, intro thing will come on like that, as you can see right there. But then um, it will black screen and then it will do one of the things. It will do one of the um, intros, the custom boot intro things. So that's one of them right there. It's like a Joker person thing. Now, uh, I'm not sure. Um, I think it actually loops through them. I'll show you what I mean by that. I think if you turn it off, I'll exit out of the whole punch capture again. And I'll uh, turn the Xbox on again. And I'll open up the whole punch capture again. Because the whole punch capture is really glitchy. Like, if you leave it open, um, it actually glitches about. It's really weird. But, uh, yeah. So here we go. So now the 360 thing is coming back on and then um i'm not sure if it will do the joker thing again i think it just loops through them if you've got multiple in there um so hopefully it will do that but if it does the joker thing again then yeah yeah it did the joker thing again so i assume that uh you can change like the options with the launch the ani to not launch the ani what's the thing called uh the boot anim animation thing yeah fake anim dot um ini I, i'd assume that you can change that um to like uh i'm not, I'm not sure what one you change but yeah you change one and then it'd pick um like yeah a different one or th there's a way that you can loop through them I've, I've, i keep saying i've forgotten how to do it uh, i'll make sure that i'll put some information in the in the description or maybe you could just go to the t uh, not the ttg post the infected xbox post because it uh there's definitely a way where you could actually have it loop through multiple ones so it like um, if you turn your Xbox on one time, it will load up, like, I don't know, it will load up the blue one, and then if you turn it off and turn it back on, then it will load up the, this one, you know, so there's definitely a way you could do that, because I had it doing that before, but I've forgotten how to do it, so yeah, I'm sure it's on the, the post, uh, so yeah, so that's gonna be about it, um, I've definitely got a cold, I can feel it now, um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, I'll link the websites and stuff in the description, so you can download the stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, goodbye.